Today, we're going to show how to upgrade transitive dependencies in Gradle using a new Gradle recipe. Let's start with a common case, which is that we're trying to find and fix vulnerable dependencies. We're familiar with products like Dependabot, Renovate, Sneaks products, et cetera, that are able to rev dependencies in certain kinds of build files, but they all only rev the direct dependencies. So dependencies that are directly defined in the build file. A tool like Dependabot is unable to see what all the transitive dependencies of those top level dependencies are, and therefore cannot actually help you fix them. But because most of our dependencies come from the transitive dependencies of the direct ones that we define, we are unable to fix the majority of our vulnerabilities with tools like that. I ran the find and fix vulnerable dependencies recipe over a default organization of 12 repositories. And if I look into this, I'm, I'll see where, you know, um, that find and fix vulnerable dependencies recipe is good at, you know, fixing direct dependencies, much like a dependabot would. But if I look at the data table here and download the vulnerability report, and then open the vulnerability report. What I'm seeing here is open rewrite producing a data table of every CVE, regardless of whether or not the dependency is direct or transitive. Just looking at this first row, we see there's a vulnerability on Jetty HTTP, this particular CVE number. The version is currently at this. The minimum fix version is 9.4.52. There's a summary of what the CVE is. And if we scroll over here to the depth column, we see that this dependency is an eighth level dependency. So it's eight levels removed from the direct dependency that we've defined. Let's go back then and think about how we would actually run a recipe to fix this. I can go to this upgrade transitive cradle dependencies recipe and select org.eclipse.jetty. I'm gonna do jetty HTTP here. If we look back at the the uh, data table here, it said 9.4.52 is the minimum fixed version. And so I'll just put 9.4.52 in here and just run this on the, uh, the um, repository. And here you can see in Gradle, we're adding a constraint section. And this dependency was in the test implementation actually. And um, we can put a reason as well why, why we're doing this, this transitive dependency update. That reason, I actually forgot to update that from a prior run. Let's take the CVE number right here and this summary and go back to the recipe. And there's a because field down here. So I can put a reason why we're doing this in this because form here. So that will help you know record in our build why it is that we did this. We'll, run it one more time. So if I look at Dynamite Manager here, yeah, this is a direct dependency of the actual main source code. And so, you know, I will upgrade to at least 9.4.52 because I'm trying to fix this particular CVE. In Gradle, a constraints block make sure that the build is at least on 9.4.52. If one of the other dependencies, the direct dependencies, has a transitive dependency on a version that's greater than 9.4.52, then Gradle will still select that version. So this just makes sure that we're at least on the minimum fix version that closes the CVE. To learn more about Modern and Open Rewrite, check out our documentation.